when it's burning low Only miss the sun when it starts to snow Only know you love her when you let her go Oh, it's not a dream. Yeah, no, I'm awake. Okay, never mind. All right, so I'm recording this on my phone mainly because lighting is better. <laughs> it's, it's honestly better in the living room. Um, and also because I have something uploading uh, right now. I'll probably be up on the channel before this video is up. Um, so if you guys haven't heard the news, well, you, you have. I don't know why I keep saying if you haven't heard. You have. Uh, Chuck and Allison and Jimmy Johnson um, are not going to be together anymore. Uh, so sad. Uh, play the breakup music. 17 years, and now it's going to be a done deal in uh, 2019. Not surprising. I didn't think Rick Hendrick would ever do it, um, but it's not surprising. Um, and, and, of course, all three agreed to it. It's not like Rick Hendrick is a dictator. He's like, ah, yeah, I'm just going to move you, Chad. Um, but, no, that's not going to happen. So all three agreed to uh, basically for Chad and Jimmy to, to, to go their own ways or just separate the partnership that won seven championships and 80-plus races and probably – created uh, Jimmy Johnson to be the greatest driver of all time um, and all that is now now done and and both it's kind of crazy to think that both Ray Everham and Jeff Gordon never really made it through and even when you thought Chad and Jimmy would go all the way through Chad and Jimmy don't make it all the way through so very interesting how quickly things change so uh, the the three moves that are going to be happening uh, Chad Knauss is going to be going to the 24 of William Byron I'm very excited for this um, I, I can't wait to see what uh, Chad and, and William Byron can do and, um, you know, Chad worked with Gordon before he worked with Jimmy, and now he's going to work with William Byron. So that's a massive help for William Byron, and hopefully that um, – Darian Grubb has been a great crew chief, but I just think having Chad Canal as your crew chief uh, can do wonders for someone like William Byron who will listen. And, and, and really, he won't, he won't be as, as aggressive, I would say, as Jimmy is with Chad. Jimmy and Chad like to go back and forth because um, they both have that reputation. They, they both love each other like brothers, but they, they do go back and forth. William Byron's not going to be someone that goes back and forth with, with Chad Canell. So he's going to kind of just continue to listen and, and understand what's going on and just learn and, and stuff like that. So we'll see how that relationship goes. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the last name right. I don't really watch the Xfinity series a lot. So uh, Mendering, I, I'm not exactly sure. I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that right. But the crew chief for Elliot Sadler will be going up and uh, being become the crew chief for the 48 team and Jimmy Johnson. Um, I am not going to really put my input on that because I don't know much about the, the, the guy. I know he's 37 years old. If he's in the Hendrick Crew Chief uh, cycle, then he must be a very, very smart guy. Uh, so I'm not really going to offer an opinion to it. Good luck to him. Good luck to Jimmy as well. I think something needed to happen to the 48 team. Uh, I never thought it would be the Crew Chief, but uh, something did need to happen to the 48 team to get them going. It's not because they, they were lacking speed all year. All the Hendrick cars have been lacking speed all year. It's the mistakes the 48 team was making throughout the race that was not working. Uh, and that that plays a part into the team aspect, and they had to change it. Uh, and then the final change will be Darian Grubb, who will be promoted to technical director and executive leadership role supporting Hendrick Motorsports Engineering and Vehicle Development Resources. Uh, and he is currently the crew chief of the 24, but he will be moving up to the executive leadership role. Darren Grubb is a very, very smart guy. Been at JGR, been at Hendrick. Uh, I think he's back, jumped back and forth between the two. Um, now he's going to be uh, in the executive lead for Hendrick Motorsports. So really good for him. Rick Hendrick had a few uh, statements on it. He said it's no secret that Chad and Jimmy have experienced their ups and downs over the years. Fierce competitors, great friends, immense respect for one another. They also fight like brothers, and all three of us agree it's finally time for new challenges and that a change will benefit them in the organization. I think Hendrick Motorsports is the best motorsports organization in NASCAR. I, I don't even think it's close, to be honest. They are... The, the premier organization and uh, they do everything together as a family everything about that organization is is a family uh style so very interesting to see that that chad and jimmy have been separated or however you want to say it uh they're, they're, they're you know it's not that big of a deal in terms of personally there's they're still going to be in the same shop i'm pretty sure the hendrick shop is different now it used to be the uh well it used to be the 24, but now is the 9, because the old 24 is the 9 car. It used to be the 9 and the, uh, the the 5, which is now the 24. They were in a shop together, and then the 48 and 88 were in a shop together. But I think that's changed over the last year, where they moved everyone together into one shop. And that's what caused maybe some of the issues that Hendrick Motorsports had this year with uh, just being slow right out of the gate with the uh, the new Camaro. And also not getting the OSS uh, laser tech inspection system until midway through the season. Um, and that really all set them back. But I think that happened this past year. So the fact that Jimmy and Chad are not going to be together anymore, but Chad is still going to be with the 24. He's still going to be in the same shop. He's still going to talk with the same engineers, the same uh, fabricators. Uh, everyone's going to still be together. 
it's not that big of a deal at all. So it's, it shouldn't really be a, a massive issue. Um, I think a, a shakeup is probably needed at Hendrick Motorsports for now. Um, I think it will re really benefit William Byron to have Chad Canals. I just don't know what it's going to do for Jimmy Johnson. I don't really know what his new crew chief is going to bring to the table. I bet he's a smart guy. I just, I just don't know him at all. And, and uh, we'll see what Allen and um, what Chad and what him and, and what they can do. Um, along with uh, Greg Ives and the 88, what, what, what can they do at Hendrick Motorsports to help uh, make the cars a little bit better? So that is the news. Um, I'm looking to see if there's anything else really. I mean, it's just kind of crazy that, you know, Chad Canales came in, I think it was 1993, I think it was, when he came into Hendrick Motorsports to work with Ray Evernham, learn from Ray Evernham on Jeff Gordon's car and make that thing the, the dominant monster that it was. Uh, and he became, you know, Gordon, obviously is Gordon. So it's kind of crazy to see it come full circle. Now he worked with Jimmy, seven championships, 80 plus wins, and now, now it's done. So leave it down in the comments below what you guys think. I don't think it's that, it shouldn't, I don't think it's as big of a change as, as people want to make it out to be. Crew chief changes happen all the time. Uh, they, they've always, I mean, I remember when I was a Gordon fan, Gordon had multiple crew chiefs, you know, when it went from Everham to, to Robbie Loomis, to, to Latar, to Gustafson, it all changes. Um, and, and no matter how many times it changes, uh, it, you still get some sort of success out of that partnership. So as long as everything stays in-house with Hen Hendrick, I don't think Jimmy Johnson fans should worry too much. Um, I think for Jimmy Johnson fans, good news will be coming out soon. Uh, the sponsor that will be announced very soon. Uh, for me, it's one of two possibilities. I think it's the, the leading candidate is Gatorade. Um, but I think the other candidate might be, I don't know how this would work with, um, with, with Monster being the, the head title for one more year, but maybe Red Bull. Uh, but I don't think uh, Red Bull is going to be that, that candidate. I think Gatorade is going to be the, 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 the title sponsor. Or not title sponsor, but the primary sponsor for Jimmy Johnson. So for Jimmy Johnson fans, don't worry. Uh, things are going to... I know this might not be the happiest news for you because Chad and Jimmy, but Gatorade's going to be coming in soon, I think. Um, and, and you'll get, uh, hopefully, uh, a better 48 car next year. I think we all know the 48 team was horrible this year. And uh, they just need to do better. This is the answer to that. And so comment down below what, specifically, I want the 48 fans. I mean, I want everyone to comment, but 48 fans, what do you think? Because I know it, it's odd to see your, your favorite driver get a crew chief change. Uh, but let me know what you think of the, the change. I think it's going to be a positive. I don't think you guys have much to worry about. Can't really get worse than what happened this year. Jimmy was running 25th at times. Like, you're not going to get worse than that. There's, there's only there's one way to go, and that's up. So um, let's see what happens there. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. I hope you're having a fantastic day and peace out. I can't change Even if I try Even if I wanted to And I can't change Even if I try My love, my love, my love She keeps me warm